Today's quick tip is all about how you can get fast feedback and design help on your next Fusion 360 project. So my question to you is, if you get stuck on a design, who do you ask for help, and how? I get a lot of Fusion 360 users who reach out to me, and through those attempts I found three easy ways to provide guidance, most of which are only possible with a cloud-based design tool. So let's start with the no-brainer, live review. This is in preview still, so make sure to turn it on, but once you do you'll be able to chat, share, and collaborate with whomever you send the link to. While in the review, your partner can take control and point you to areas of concern. This is being accessed from a phone, but can just as easily be accessed from a tablet or a computer. This works well in most cases, but as you can see, the viewer the receiver uses does not include the design history, and not all details are carried over. So while it's great for general review, it lacks pertinent details required for design help, and, as expected with preview technology, stability can waver at times. Another way to share is to use public share links. These are easy to create from within Fusion 360 or Fusion Team, but again, appear to lack the full details required to fully interrogate a design. However, within this option is the ability to allow the user to download the model, from which the full design history is accessible. This is fantastic, but the link between the original file is lost once downloaded and added to Fusion. That said, the link shared will reflect the most up-to-date design until it is disabled. Really powerful and so easy. Make sure to see the quick tip Bryce made on this, linked on screen now, and a blog I wrote a while back, found in the description below. But the last method is by far my favorite. This is because it too is simple to enact but provides full design detail and version history without needing to download then upload as you do when using share links. It's almost so easy I'm not even sure it should be a quick tip. This is more for those of you who've overlooked this capability. Anyway, all you need to do is add whomever you're seeking feedback from to your project. This can be done from the data panel in mere seconds and right away your collaborator can start suggesting solutions. If adding someone to your main project concerns you, you can always create somewhat of a throwaway project, or DMZ as I've called it. When the issue has been resolved, you can just as easily remove their ability to access your project. I hope these methods, and more importantly your collaborators, help out the next time you're stuck. Thanks for watching.